Welcome back everyone, Just Your Average Gamer here bringing you Let's Play Slay the Spire. So, Slay the Spire still is in Early Access, I've noticed it's been in Early Access for a long time. Um, but, I just tried this game out, played it a little bit over this past weekend. It's a pretty cool game, um, good, it's a fun strategy game, if you guys haven't seen it. Basically the idea is, you start out with a basic card deck, based, uh, based off of a class that you choose, and you try to advance up the Spire. And um, there's different types of fights, different types of enemies. Sometimes there's chests, you get rewards. And every time you advance, you get to add more cards to your deck. So you get to build your unique deck and see how far you can get. So it's pretty fun. I figured I'd give it a shot. I don't proclaim to be very good at this game. But you know what? It's fun and maybe, it'll have, maybe you guys will try it out. So here you've got um, the Ironclad, kind of like your traditional warrior. Uh, his... So he starts out with 80 health, and he's a, these are called relics. And at the end of, of the combat, he heals for 6 HP. Let me just try to fix that really quick. Okay. And then the other one is the silent. So this would be kind of like your rogue class. Um, so it starts out with less health, 70. And his relic is at the start of each combat, draw two additional cards. Which is pretty cool. Um, I, I found him to be far less tanky. Um, you can see I've unlocked a lot more with the Ironclad than I have with the Silent. But you know what? I kind of think the Silent's fun to play with. He has better combos. So let's try that. So again, don't hate on me. I don't proclaim to be very good at this game. <laughs> but we can try it. And I don't know why there's a giant whale there. And I think it is a whale. So, remove a card from your deck. Enemies in your next three combats have one HP. Lose all gold. Max HP goes up by 14, which would be pretty awesome. Um, lose your starting relic. Obtain a, and a boss relic. So, the bosses give you better relics. You'll see as we go along. Um, so, there is something to be said for removing a card from your deck. Uh, you don't really want too big of a deck, because then it's too hard to draw what you want. Um... Enemies in your next three combats have one HP. That's pretty good, too. You could probably swing it where one of them would be a boss. Yeah, let's do that. That'll make the fights very easy. So we want to try to do it where a boss is the third guy we fight. So one. So these are the enemies. Question marks, you're not sure what can happen. It could be anything over here. So we'd have one, two, three. No. Nope. One, two, three. All right, so it doesn't look like we'll be able to get that uh, where we could get a boss with one health. But uh, so campfires, you can either rest and gain HP. I think it's like 30% of your HP back or something. Or you can upgrade one of your cards, which upgrading cards is very valuable. So we definitely want to hit up campfires. Um, so there's two campfires on this track. One boss, three campfires. That's not bad. Bosses give you relics, so you do want to have a certain amount of uh boss fight so here we can buy you can buy cards also so we have a uh, merchant we have one two three campfires no bosses let's check out this side one campfire two campfires a boss two bosses and campfire okay i think we'll go this route seems to be the most balanced okay so we're fighting oh yeah they all have one health so uh i'll quickly go over the cards so Defend, you have block, which, see, this guy is doing seven attack damage, so you can block it. That's one of the cool things this, this game does, is it shows you what's happening next, so you can plan. Um, this, he's, the enemy intends to use a buff, uh, and it's called Curl Up, uh, and then he also has this uh, buff right now called Curl Up, which rolls up and gains four block. Okay, so... Um, my cards, I have the block card, a basic strike card, six damage, and then neutralize. So this does a little bit of damage and applies weak. Weak, um, weak creatures deal 25% less damage. So there, that is pretty cool too. And it only costs zero, but everyone only has one health here. So we're just going to quickly take them all out and move on. So 17 gold. Now I get to add a card. So, um, the silent class can do a lot of poison damage, which is really fun. Um, but also one of the, the other thing he, uh, the silent class can do is they get a lot of cards or you can try to get a lot of cards where you can get more energy or mana, you want, if you want to call it for next turn. Um, so this one's pretty cool because 
It does eight damage, and then next turn I get ex an extra move, basically. You see how this card costs one, this card costs two. Well, that's what this green is, so you get an extra one. Right now you start with three per turn. Dash is it's kind of expensive with two, but ten block and ten damage is, is a really is really good. Um, but I think I might go with uh, Flying Knee. I didn't go with the poison card yet because I just don't have any poisons yet. I know I will. Um, okay, so he's in, he's planning on using a buff on himself. So I'm gonna go ahead and use neutralize three damage and then he'll. Oh yeah, wait, they all have one health. Yeah. Here's potions. So you get potions. You can hold down hold three. This one lets you draw three cards. Um, so piercing whale. All enemies lose six strength for one turn. Strength, um, like one strength gives you one more damage. So two dexterity. Dexterity basically counts as a block. Every time you apply a block that turn, a dexterity adds one more to it. So if I applied three blocks, you know, I'd get two extra. Uh, deal five damage. If the enemy is weak, gain one uh, energy and draw a card. So one of the cool things is um, that other card I got makes the enemy weak. So... That would kind of combo, so we're going to go with that. Here's one more. Should be a very easy fight. Because it's just one. So this was us. Uh, see, this one applies a weak. And so then if I use that next one, it'll combo. That new card I got. Um, so I really like Bouncing Flask. It applies three poison to a random enemy three times. So basically... If you're only fighting one guy, which does happen a lot, you can get uh, nine poison on them. This is a um, decent card. Gain four block next turn, game four. Deal six damage for every attack played. I'm going to go with the poisons. I think we're going to try to go to the poison spec. So I have here I have 143 gold, and I'm going to the merchant. So you can see here you can buy cards. Uh, these gray cards are cross-class cards. They don't have a, card, a class specific. Wow, that's really strong. Upgrade all of your cards for the rest of combat. Wow, that's good. Uh, and these are more relics. We just don't have enough gold to be able to get them. And then down here, there's potions. So we already have a flying knee. So one of the cool things about burst is there's um, lets your next skill you play um, tw uh, play twice. So like you can see, this is a skill. Gain five block, draw two cards. So if I did this and then this, I would gain ten block and four cards, which is really good. But also, one of the things I like about Burst is a lot of poisons you apply count as a skill. So if you apply four poisons, you now apply eight. Um, same thing with that one that's applying nine. I believe that's a skill. So I'm going to go ahead and grab Burst. Oh, wait, I don't have enough. Shoot. Okay. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and grab Backflip then. We can't underestimate Block. I, I know most people have a very, like, aggressive mind sense, so you just want to attack and attack, but... Especially with a class like this, it's very it's very important to try not taking any damage. So this is a debuff on me. The enemy intends to inflict a negative effect on me. So here you go. Um, there's two of my new cards. So there's the skill. And see, that's a skill. So if I had one more energy, the Bouncing Flask could apply twice. Um, I'm thinking I will do Bouncing Flask to get the poisons going. And let's see. Oh yeah, deal eight damage next turn. Have an extra energy. So you'll see here. Now the way poison works is at the start of his turn, he takes that damage and it counts down. So it goes from nine this turn, next turn will be eight, then seven, so on. As you'll see here. So there we go. So he's using lick, which gained twenty-five percent less block. Okay. So, um, again, he's going to give me a debuff. I don't need a block then for any reason. So, do I want to draw extra cards then? I think I do because I have four mana and I don't need to use this block or four energy. So, let's see what I get. So, really, I got an extra strike, which is good. That's kind of what I was after. Okay, so this guy, what he does is when he gets, like, I think to half health, he splits into two. So 
they're both going to debuff me again. I don't know why they're not actually attacking me. So, I don't know if it really matters. We'll go ahead and hit him. And next turn, I'll get another energy. You can see it tracks it down here. So, they're both going to lick me, which just means my blocks do 25% left. And see, they're just... It's not like it, the block becomes greater or their debuff. It just adds another turn onto it. So, he's going to die next turn. He has four health, and he's going to take that much in poison. So, we can really just go after this guy. Um, we don't have enough cards to kill him, though. So... But we can actually play everything. Although I didn't really need to play that last block. Okay, so next turn the slime should die. And that wound that just popped up, uh, he hit me with that. It, was, it, it caused that when he attacked me, and that actually is a useless card, and it gets added to your deck for this round. So it is kind of a pain. So there's a dexterity potion. Um... There's a flying knee kick. So I like dagger spray. It's just AOE damage. Um, and AOE can be very important because you will fight. Sometimes you'll fight like six guys at once. So you can rest here for 30% of your mana or health back. I have full health. So we're going to upgrade a card. You guys can see how important, how great this is. So for example, Bouncing Flask now goes to, it, instead of applying three poison three times, it does three poison four times. So that's 12 poison. That's a lot. Flying knee, 11 damage, so eh, it's just increasing the damage. Okay, one second, guys. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. My phone rang. Um, all right, so... I don't really like flying knee. Neutralize does, oh, four damage in two weak. That's not bad. So that means for two turns I'll have weak. And the reason I like having weak on it is because then it'll combo with this card. So I, I might do neutralize. Uh, what does this do? So just three more damage, backflip, gain eight block, draw the same amount of cards. So the AOE, so that can be big. I'm thinking I'm going to go neutralize, actually. What does Survivor do? Gain 11 block discard. Yeah, I think I'm going to go neutralize. Okay. So our first question mark. Um, sometimes you get these scenarios like this. So this will let me remove a card from my deck, which I actually am going to do. Uh, I will probably take out one of the strikes, I think. Well, let's see, how many blo extra blocks do I have? I have a block there. I have all these other cards that do damage. So block, block, damage, 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 damage. Yeah, I'm gonna take out a strike. All right, so another fire. So I will upgrade again. I think this time we're gonna go with, um, and as you'll notice, the card that we just upgraded, uh, neutralized, is not on here anymore because you can't upgrade it again. I, I kind of like the idea of doing Bouncing Flask or Dagger Spray. I think we're going to go Bouncing Flask, because I do want to go Poison Spec if we can. All right, so our first treasure chest. We got the Molten Egg Relic. Whenever you add an attack card to your deck, it is upgrade. So that's a really, really strong relic, because we will add a lot of attack cards. So look, here's four guys. So we really want to try to get our AoE. Um... And they're going to hit me for, what is that, 12, 21 damage? So... I might do this, because what if we can get our AoE card? So we did not... Oh, we did get it. So this will do 8 damage to everyone. I think I might actually use Bouncing Flask. Okay, so those three out of the four are poison, not bad. They, I am about to take a lot of damage, which I'm not happy about. I maybe should have just done a lot of blocks that turn. So they did weaken me, so I'm doing 25% less damage. So here's a neutralize. 
Um, but I do need a block. So I'm going to discard the strike. Block again. Deal six damage. So six, you'll take eight. Uh, oh, you know what? I think I might be able to. So I can deal. So if I, that's nine. All right, so this guy will die. And then I'm blocking for 13 and they're gonna do, what is that, 17 damage? So I'm only gonna be taking four. I, I probably should have used my dexterity potion. Okay. Dagger spray. So he will die. And he will die. I will defend against this. So these two will die. And, oh shoot, I should've just killed him. Oh well, doesn't really matter I guess, because we blocked. All right, <clears throat> so we, I think we took a little bit too much damage probably, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, calculate a gamble, discard your hand and draw that many cards. Eh. I like the backflips. It's like a basic, I think I can be trading these out with our block cards. They're just a better version. So we have 50 health going into our boss fight, our first boss fight. Um, okay, so this boss, um, he gains block, but he also is asleep at first. So we can kind of go all in on the damage. All right, not bad, so we did about 20 damage. And now we have four, so he's gonna hit us for 13, 13, yeah, so. Let's see, one, two. Oh, and he is weak. All right, I'm gonna use the dexterity so I can block for all of this. And now next turn, we will be able to gain one more, okay. Uh, sure, we can draw some more cards. Okay. So we blocked all of it. He's gonna hit us for 18 again. We got Bouncing Flask, which is great. So he'll be taking 12 damage now. And now we'll block a little bit over half of that. So I've gotten poisons up to like over a hundred before, which is really funny. Um, so he's going to basically curse or debuff me. So we can just go all in on the damage. Next turn we'll have one more energy. And, okay, so he's gonna hit me for 18. I think we do need to just do, so that's 12, that's 20. Uh, he's not weak, yeah, I think we are gonna have to just block up. There we go. So that's six damage there. So he's gonna take 10 poison damage and we're blocking all but three, okay. Can we kill him? We should definitely be able to kill him. All right, so we won that. All right, so negate the next two curses you obtain. So you get curses from some of those events, um, you'll see. All right, a thousand cuts, whenever you play a card Deal one damage to all enemies. Wow. That seems really strong. It's kind of expensive, but it definitely seems strong. So we have two more of uh, regular fights and then another boss fight before we can heal up. So you can see that it can get a little tense. Um, I do think we're going to do... Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're going to do Bouncing Flask to get that out there. And then we'll probably play a backflip. 
Yeah, we'll play a backflip. Okay. Um, so, three of his damage is going to get through, but they're both taking, a, both taking five more damage each turn. Wow, that's pretty good. Okay, so let's go ahead and he has less health. Let's neutralize you. Don't really have too much we can do here other than block, which there's really no point of blocking. I guess there's no point of not playing it. Not that it does anything. Good, so the poisons, even see that turn I didn't get to do any attacks, but the poisons are still doing good damage. So, it's one of the reasons I really like this spec. Um, okay, so we do have our AoE. So let's go ahead and use that. And... All right, so they should both die now. Good, so we only took, I think, three damage that turn, or that fight. Oh, nice, poison, so that, that gives you six poison right there. All right, so uh, we're gonna keep going with the poison, so poison stab. I like poison stab because some of them are just po straight poison cards, apply a poison, but this one does, uh, you also get to do five damage. Um, I'm gonna try to save this potion. Okay, so here we go. So I have a choice, I could do a thousand cuts. Well, I don't really have much to block with either. So I think we are going to play a thousand cuts. Okay. So we are going to take 10 damage. I wonder if I should just kill this guy. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and kill him. All right, so I'm taking nine damage, which is a lot. Okay, so we've got backflip. Backflip. All right, so we are blocking all the damage. He is not weak. So let's go. Yeah, this one's six damage, this one's eight. Okay. Yeah, I like the thousand cuts. It's kind of cool. Because as, um, as this class, you can play like you can play a lot of cards in one turn. Uh, we'll play Bouncing Flask. Yep, he's gonna die now. All right, so we did take a good bit of damage there. Oh, another Poison Flask, nice. Okay, apply three poison, apply three weak. Deal seven damage if the enemy's poison. We only have two poison cards, so we need to get more poison cards, I think. All right, boss fight. And then we can rest. Uh, so. Okay, so we do want to play heal hook. Because we will get an extra energy. All right, so that's four. I mean, eight. All right, not bad. Um, so he's going to buff himself. I believe this guy buffs his strength over and over again. And then he just starts hitting really hard. All right. So I might... Can we kill him? That's eight plus six. No, but I think I'm going to crippling poison. So now he'll be hitting less, and I'll block. The other thing he does is um, whenever you play a skill card, he gains two strength. So, and our blocks are skill cards. So it's kind of it's kind of hard. All right, we're gonna bouncing blade. And he's gonna take 19 damage. Oh, too bad I couldn't get that one in. All right, so again, we're taking a lot of damage. He could kill us. Although next turn, he should die. All right, he's dead. 
So this next campfire, we're just going to heal up and hope we have enough health for our boss fight. Oh good, we got, whenever you take damage, deal three back, nice. There's another backflip. Discard, deal 12 damage, discard all non-attack cards. Next turn, draw blank cards and gain. So that X represents how much energy you have. Next turn, gain, draw, so it'd be like draw three cards and gain three energy. Do I really want that? I think I want another backflip. All right, so we will heal up here. And boss fight, so we don't have much health, and this is again the problem, the danger of playing with this class. So I don't, any intentions are unknown, so I don't really know. We're just gonna poison him then. All right, seven poison, and he's weak. What is he doing here? All right, so I think we go 1,000 cuts, apply more weak, and then we'll block. So blocking should take out half of that. 1,000 cuts is doing some damage. This is gonna be hard, I don't know if we can win this. Now the nice thing is he took three damage every time there. Um, so I think we are going to block. So that's gonna be six damage. Really wanna poison it. I'm okay taking one damage. All right, that's a lot of poison. So, the kind of the cool thing is this relic means he's taking three damage every time he's attacking me. He's not doing like one straight attack. He's doing a bunch in a row. Uh, so he is weak. Let's go ahead and use backflip. Uh, let's use dagger spray. There we go. So he's taking a lot of damage from Thousand Cuts, uh, Poison, and Bronze Scales. It's kind of cool. So what that means is I can really just keep blocking and he'll keep taking damage. Um, so he's planning on using defensive, so block and buff. All right, let's increase that poison, there you go. Nice, all right, so now he's using some blocks. So we definitely want to... Here. Oops, sorry about that. My mic... Okay, I'm back. I think he stopped barking. That's the problem when you basically live with like a thousand animals, it seems. Okay, so I'm gonna poison him again here. I'll poison him twice and then defend. Okay, now we want to defend, so we're only gonna take one damage. That's a lot of poison that guy's taken. And every time he attacks, he takes three more. Okay, so he's dead next turn, unless he blocks or something. I will just to be safe, block up. All right. All right. Nice, so we beat the first level of the tower, and you can see we're on the 16th floor. So now what happens is you go to the next kind of level, not floor, but like next level, and it resets your health. But I think we are, let's grab our, you cannot draw any cards this turn, reduce the cost of all the cards in your hand to zero. That's pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna take bullet time. 
All right, I'm gonna grab this relic, then we'll put a cut in here. On card reward screen, choose from four instead of three. Upon pickup, choose and transfer three cards, then upgrade them. When you would die, heal to 50%. Oh yeah, we're taking that. Okay. I am gonna put a cut in there, guys. Thank you for watching episode one of Slay the Spire. I will catch y'all on the flip side.